this summer. One man. One paper man. Don't risk it all. Yarn. Okay, we got some yarn. And we need some paper, just plain old paper. You can recycle it or not. And some tape. And you just pull it here and snip. It's gone. Oh, scissors. Gotta be careful with those. Okay. Hey, why are they coming back? Scissors, calm down. And uh, this green thing, and in... oh, it's just a straw. <laughs> looked really crazy for a second and cut it and that's how you cut just kidding we actually used scissors for the cutting and snip um that wasn't a good cut and paper so you're gonna trace your design on it whoa hand you're going crazy you're supposed to draw a face and then you cut out your design scissors why are you going crazy too My and uh, wow good job you guys, y'all made a little man. And then we, uh, we use the straws, right? Where do you put the straws? Okay, good. So you put one on each side of his arms. Oh, it, there you go. And then we need to make sure they stick down. How do we make it stick down? And we use, oh, yeah, tape. Oh, thank you, tape. Hey, that was easy. Just tape them on. Oh, we got to string the yarn through the straws and uh oh there we go thank you yarn for your help so we take our little man and our yarn and ooh, you're gonna need to attach it to somewhere pull the yarn around it and there you go whenever you pull the strings nice and taut that means tight it makes them stiff as you alternate the pulling between the strings, you have friction between the straw and the strings. Friction is the force that occurs when two objects move against each other. Force is the push or pull on an object resulting from interaction with another object. Gravity is the force by which a planet draws objects towards its center. Friction between the surfaces of the yarn and the straws are what cause your paper climber to move up the yarn. The yarn looks pretty smooth, but if you looked under a microscope, you'd see that the yarn is actually really rough. The yarn's rough surface clings to the straws via friction, which stops the paper climber from sliding down. Friction is reduced when the yarn is relaxed, allowing gravity to pull the paper climber down. Friction is all around you. It's behind how cars start and stop, how you can walk on dry sidewalks but may slip when they're wet. Friction is even behind static electricity. The friction caused by rubbing your shoes against carpet creates the force that produces a zap when you touch someone. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. If you would like to share your scientific results with us, tag us using the hashtag I love HPL. If you'd like to see more from HPL, follow us on social media. Check out our craft, STEM, and story time videos by visiting our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.